on step six now, we want to open the ELS summary worksheet, which should be in the data files that you downloaded. Uh -huh. Let me see here. I want to go to that. Oh, no, no, sorry. Okay, the instruction number six says to open the ELS summary workbook. So if you go file and say open and say browse, it will take you back to the last folder where you saved the files that you downloaded from the website. We will see right here ELS summary. And now we want to save this just as we did before. Uh, I, I understand what the book tells you. I'm going to save it as what I'm in the habit of writing. I'm going to save it as T, oops, T M M revised summary. finished with everything except for applying that same step to all of our workbooks, which will be Delaware, Virginia, and if you need these instructions again, just go back and rewatch these videos. The instructions are the same for all of them. Two key things to keep in mind. On each and every worksheet, no matter which workbook you're in, your projected increase number is going to be different. So don't think when you're looking at one, just because it was different on another sheet, that you're wrong. They all have very different percentages and projected increases. So it's important not to overwrite data or copy things. And if your numbers are wrong, I would suggest that's probably a good place to troubleshoot. Um, I'll see you for the wrap-up in the next video.